house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the sun came up. The rain came down and the sun came up. The rain came down and the sun came up. And the house of the man was good. Anna. 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 The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man's built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the sun came up. The rain came down and the sun came up. The rain came down and the sun came up. Anna! Agnes, please, no. I'll give you the problem. Exactly what you said, please. Why can't you just find another excuse? Agnes, you know the condition of my family. You know what we are going through. Please, I beg you in the name of God. I'll, I'll give you before this weekend, please. And I don't like it. You know that small kiosk is what I support my family with. You can't do it for our friendship now. It's wrong, so it's wrong, man. Big one, please. Help me, please. Please. What do you say you need again? Where are you? She's no, oh, no, Dad. Mom is gonna get pissed with you. Why didn't you call me? I was calling you. I was shouting your name, but you didn't hear me. Don't worry. I'll fix this. Well, you're already dressed for school. Don't be late. Adam, good morning. Good morning. Have you paid your NEPA bill? <laughs> Tell me why I will pay. Why will I pay? You give me like only four hours in a day and yet you bring outrageous bill. In other words, you're asking me to disconnect your light. Eh? Whether you should disconnect it? It's obvious you left your sense in the house before coming to this place. It's in this country, you people don't have conscience. You don't have conscience at all, at all. You know what you do? Carry the meter, put it inside this your bag, eh? And disconnect the whole light and go. Rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. You see like for four hours, you know, after some point, you don't see at all. How are you going to do that? Somewhere, it's for nature, right? God will bless you for me, right? What is going on here? Patrick, so you urinated on yourself again, eh? It wasn't intentional. I was trying to call her to help me. But she, she was and far, I guess. And you decided to urinate on yourself No, instead. you just splashed. It oh, wasn't... Oh, Patrick, you are very weak. Patrick, you're very, very wicked and heartless. And I hate you for this. Mom, please, take it easy on Dad. Will you shut up? Is that why you decided to... No, just look at your uniform. Look at this. Hey, tell me how you're going to go to school with this thing like this. Mom, we have a test this morning. Oh, it's now you're remembering that you have a test this morning. And you were here spoiling your uniform. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh. You and you. I'm sorry. Keep it to yourself. School dismisses by 2 p.m. Hmm? I want to see you come back home on or before that time. I don't want to catch you discussing with your friends. 
If I ever see you discuss with your friends after school, I will deal with you. Did you hear what I'm saying? Okay, mom. I'll come home straight. If you like, you come home straight. Be going, eh? Be good, eh? How come you didn't say anything regards the interview you had yesterday? Because there is nothing to say. I don't understand. You want to hear that I failed the interview, right? I failed the interview, that's what you want to hear. Why the sudden hostility? Patrick, because I'm fed up with this life. You're not making things easy for me. I am just fed up. Huh. All right, I'm sorry. If it's regards, uh, the, you know, the, the what, what happened this morning. Honestly, it wasn't intentional. You know, I wouldn't like to embarrass you like that. I, I was on the bed and I was trying to move to go out, but I, I couldn't. I, I just lost it. It splashed everywhere. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Patrick. You should have held back the urine, knowing fully well that I'm the one who was still going to clean it up with my bare hands. Oh, Patrick, does that still show how much you care about me? Does it? Oh, I'm just fed up with this whole thing, Patrick. I'm fed up! But I'm sorry now. I, I wouldn't do that intentionally to hurt you now. Where, where are you going to? Where are you going to now? Yes, come in. The door is open. Hi, Patrick. How are you today? I'm fine. Please. But you don't look good. I hope all is well. So, where's my friend? She's gone out. And did she tell you where she was going to? She didn't tell me where she was going to. I hope there is no problem. But that's by the way, I got you fruits. How about I serve it? Okay. I'll be back. Dear God, are you listening? Hear me, please. I beg of you. Hear me, Lord, and answer me. For how long will I keep on getting rejected? Have I not suffered enough? Change my situation, please, Lord. Please change my situation. <laughs> Good day, ma. Good day. What of your mother? She has not resumed yet. By this time? Yes, ma. Oh. Okay, ma. I even forgot I know how to. Let me sit down and wait for you. Okay. Can I have some of this, please? Mm. 
Thank you. So tell me, how was school today? School was fine, Auntie. We were asked to pay condolence levy for one of our classmates because she lost her father. Are you serious? Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's so sad. So how much are we talking about? 500 Naira. 500? I'll give it to you. Thank you very much, Auntie. Thank you. You're welcome. Benita, you've done so much. I mean, you shouldn't have bothered. Patrick, so just... don't even go there. God will bless you. Eh? Thank you. Auntie, do you need more? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes. My aunt in school asked me to buy a new uniform. She said mine is old. Well, tell your auntie to help you get a new one since she cares. No, no, baby. That's not how to say it. She's a kid. Find a way to drive in, you know, these words to her in a subtle way. Mr. Teacher, keep it to yourself. Keep the lectures to yourself. How can you be lecturing me on how to talk as if I don't know that Anna here is old enough to know that there is no money in this house? Mom, please, please, take it easy on Dad, please. Madam, there is no money in this house and I want it to sink in your skull. And if you so desire for a school uniform, go over there and meet your dad and talk to him about it. But Dad no longer works again. Oh, you've seen me that works, right? Do you know how I managed to take care of this house? Do you? I can't even get a decent employment and I'm not even sure of how you're going to go to school tomorrow. What is all this? <sighs> Aunt Benita dashed me some money. Benita was here? Yes, she was. Annabelle, don't tell me you want the things I asked you to cook. <coughs> I'm sorry, Mom. I went to get tissue for Dad. When I came back, the beans was burnt, but not all of it was burnt. Annabelle, how can you burn the beans I've not even paid for? Patrick, you were here and this guy burnt those beans. No, before I, I finish what I was doing, before I could come. Always giving silly excuses. Since you don't know how much I suffer to take care of this house, we all are going to go on hunger strike. Let me see whether your senses will come back. Oh, yeah. But it's not all the beans that got burnt now. <laughs> Hello, hi, how are you? Mother, what is this? Have you gone mad or something? I've warned you to stop following me around. Stop following me around. Hey, come on now. Don't 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 be hard. don't be so hard on yourself, eh? Listen, allow me to take care of you now, eh? Allow me to take care of you. Okay, your life has not started yet. It's only when you marry, that's where your life will start. Stop following me. Hey, 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 wait, hold up, hold up. Listen, hey. So you that is married now, are you living a life? I mean, do you call this a life? Hmm? This is no life you're living. Oh, stop it though. This is the last time I'm going to warn you. Respect yourself and stop following me. Respect yourself, oh. Benita, don't be this nice when you've been with the hungry man. I want your better food with the homie for me. Madam, you go calm down. You go eat the one way you first see. Meanwhile, that um, woman where they sell me beans and plantain, she never show. I want chop heavy food. <clears throat> Benita, you don't tell me say they come my house the other day. Now I come to your shop. I waited and waited and waited. I have to call your number and it was switched off. No vex. Now my phone. My phone, they gave me trouble. So I took it to the phone repairer. And then um, I said, talk to yourself, I won't change the phone, I don't I? I beg, if you won't change this one, be cool. You will give me this one, they use. Make out for keep that balance and knock your touch, I carry rubber band tie. Hmm? Be cool. Yeah? I don't agree, I'll give you. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I see your husband and your daughter the other day. I must say, your husband is looking good. Mm. My sister, that heavy cross of mine eh, is becoming heavier by the day. Don't worry. It will soon be over. You know, God is still in the business of doing miracles. 
my sister, for how long? When will God finally answer my prayers and come to the rescue of my family? Look at me now. I can barely take care of my family. They will say don't too much. Pay, pay bill, pay this one, pay that one. Now let me they pay for all these things. Eh? I'm even surprised that I've not gone mad after going through all of this. Mm -hmm. So you're buying our numbers. Find a percentage of zero point zero zero two. Why don't you like telling mom about Aunt Benito's visit? How do you mean? I've been observing it for a while that you don't tell mom about the woman's visit. Or are you thinking mom's gonna get mad or something? No, I just what makes you, you know, have a such thought. It's not like that. I just I forget in between time and all of that. That's all. Why why are you asking that? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm not going to tell mom about it, if that makes you happy. Listen, you shouldn't be harboring such thoughts in your mind. You're still very young. Hmm? It will make me, whether it makes me happy or makes anyone happy, forget about it. Let's talk about something else. Have they started asking you about your school fee? Oh, yes. I forgot to tell mom about it. No, don't tell your mom. Don't tell her. So, can you provide money? You're sick, Dad. I'll find a means. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to, to sort it out. It's my responsibility. But don't tell your mom. Your mom is going through a lot. Now, if you go ahead to say this, it might you know, escalate into something that I wouldn't want to happen. So just let it be. I'll find a means. Okay. <laughs> my friend Louis, Louis. Man, do, man, How man. you doing now? Man, I'm good, I'm good. How's your little daughter? We're doing fine. Oh, amazing. How's your health now? Well, that's it. That's it. We are, we thank God. That's what we say every day. And it, is true, mm, it is yes, true. Yes, true. Anyway, thank you very much for coming on a very short notice. Why are we friends? Mm. You're my man. Mm. I'll always be there for you. Oh. Especially when it has to do with anything with loan repayment. But oh my man. Loan repayment? I don't understand. Wait. <laughs> Is that not why you called me here? <laughs> ah, Pato. Well, one thing I like about you is that anytime you borrow money and a lot enters, spam. You don't cease to let me know. Mm. Pato. Well, um, Louis, that's not why I called you. The reason why I called you is to borrow some more money from you. Eh? Reasons being that uh, my daughter will soon be sent out of school, and you know how my wife is, and all of that. So if I don't get. Hey, if I hey, wait, wait. Ah, uh -huh. what's the other one now? The one you borrowed, you not you want to borrow another one. I Am I running a charity organization? I'm not saying you are running a charity organization, but I'll pay you now. You are even the one that specified that I pay you each time a lot. Stop comes. that rubbish! Stop that rubbish! Uh -uh. Why can't you just understand with me? You know look, my conditions. Look, look, look! I have needs. I have a family. I have businesses to run. And you are here. I thought you even called me here to pay back some of the loans you borrowed last year. <coughs> and you are here talking about borrowing another one. But you affirm the fact that I will pay you, if not for my condition. You, how will I do this thing? Look, then, Kwakwaga, let me tell you. You won't like what I will do if I come back here without you paying that money. Don't do like that. Now we are friends beyond that. Stop. You met my hacket and my rock out. Never get never get a sinner.
What are you doing with those jewelries? Meanwhile, forget about Anna's school fees. I'll pay it. You'll pay it? Yes, I'll pay it. Where do you intend to get such an amount of money from? I know fully well that you don't have money. Well, I will um, I'll speak to some friends about it and uh, we'll be able to sort it out. So, uh, but you still haven't answered my question. I said, what are you going to do with those jewelries? If you must know, I am selling them off so that we can feed. Why would you sell them off? Do you know how expensive I bought them? I don't think there's anyone that will be willing to pay you the same value. Why won't I sell them off? Or are you going to give me money for our feeding? Or is there money somewhere in this house that I don't know of? I've just told you. Those jewelries were very expensive when I bought them. Now you selling them on the streets just like that, I, it's very difficult for someone to give you the same value. Please. And who told you I'm going to sell it exactly the same amount you bought it? Anyway, if you must know, if I can get anyone who can give me as little as 10,000 Naira, Barry, I will sell it so that we can eat food in this house since you've gone crippled to the brain. Why are you disrespectful? Why are you disrespecting me? I need to pray for you. Go to Matthew. You're going home, right? Alright, hop in. So how was school? Let's call that a coincidence, all right? And most of the time, your mommy's number does not go through, so that's why I don't call her. Aunt, yes. please. I need you to help me and advise my mom to stop being harsh to my dad. Oh. He's trying his best, and he's not happy that he's on a wheelchair. Okay. I will talk to your mom. Does that make you happy now? <laughs> You're so smart. Now tell me, what else did they ask you to bring in school this time around? Party yesterday, and I told you to come and call me when you're going. You didn't come. Oh, that. Yes. I'm so sorry. You know, the party was scheduled for six, but then the time was moved to 9 p.m., so that was why I left you. I figured you'd be with your husband at the time. Hmm? Which husband? So you now mean I'm stuck with my husband? My sister. I am still very young, that I don't joke with any little opportunity to make myself happy. Next time when you're going for a party, be cool, come and call me. I will go, let me go and shake this my body. Is it my fault that I married an okay. incapacitated husband? Okay, I get it. I'm sorry, my apologies. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Come here. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right, To bait. I am not baiting. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> 
Mom, can't you see Dad is not happy? And so? How is it my business that he's not happy? How? Defender and protector, you can sleep. I'm sorry, Dad. It's okay, baby. It's fine. Thank you. I can bathe you if you want. <laughs> Oh, there'll be no need for that. I'm fine. You sleep. Tomorrow is cool. Okay, good night, Dad. On your lane. Mm. To your tent, to to your tent. So Patrick, yes. This is all I can afford. Five thousand naira. Ah, oh, please, Philip. Philip, five thousand naira would not be enough. Honestly, it would not be enough. It can't even scratch the surface. Please, now, please. Patrick, market no dear. I know how I managed to come up with this sum. You just have to manage this for me. I know. I understand. I understand you, but my daughter's school fees is just is thirty thousand naira, and this cannot even touch anywhere. Please, I want to carry the money and just go and give them in school. I know that I'm I'm done with that. See, I'm sure some of your friends can help you raise the rest. It's not like that. It's not like that. If I if I have anyone else, I, I would have gone there even earlier than this. Yeah, hey, I know. Please, but just just manage this for now. Please, you don't understand. Take me out of this mad clay. Please, just take me out of this mad clay. I pray to help you change your situation soon, eh? but just manage this for now. Just manage this, please. This is the best I can do. Just manage this. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, this woman? Huh? How come you become very, very stubborn? Where is your conscience? Huh? Where is your marital vows? I told you not to, to sell those jewelries, but you went ahead and sold them. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with your head? Patrick! Can... Why should I listen to you when nothing you have to say has to do with money? Why should I listen to you when you can barely do things on your own in this house or provide for your so, family? So, so I'm useless. In my own house, you're branding me useless. Yes. Isn't it? Then get rid of me. Get rid of me. Patrick, I am tired of you. Yes, I am tired of you. I am fucked out, Patrick. I can't even get a job because the jobs out there are for spinsters. Patrick, oh, you are an obstacle to me, Patrick. You are an obstacle. I'm an obstacle yes. to you. Yes. I'm an obstacle to you. <laughs> you are telling me that. Okay, then get rid of me. I'll get you a life so that you can kill me here. You will kill me. You will kill me today. Get rid of me, oh, Mary. Get rid of me. Get rid of me. Eh? So I'll become an obstacle to you. After taking care of you all these years. You must, you must, you must, you must, you must kill me today. Kill me, Mary. Kill me. Kill me. You will kill me today. You will kill me today. Take this knife and get rid of me. I'm an obstacle to you. I'm an obstacle to you. I'm an obstacle to you. Mary, you must kill me. You must kill me, kill me! You must kill me, Mary! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
day. It's a necessary end. It comes when it wants to come. But today I've chosen to take it. decided to take my own life, to end this perpetual pain, to end this burden called drama. I'm sorry, Anna. I'll forgive you, Harry. Enjoy your life without me. And I'll always be with you. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> you see, your wife came to me complaining about a whole lot of things. So I figured she's stressed out. The workload is heavy on her, so I decided to step in her some ways. So that's your daughter's school fee. Take it and put the bills. And how did you know my daughter hadn't paid her school fees yet? Did my wife tell you that? Patrick, I expect a thank you, not a question. Yeah, thank you. But I'm a man, it's my responsibility to pay off my daughter's school fees and I'll get around it one way or the other, not by you doing this. Are you being serious right now? Are you for real? Your daughter is about to be kicked out of school and all you can think about is to show off your pride? You know what, just do me a favor, save it, take the money, and go foot the bills. Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Yes, my wife complained to you, not me. Why didn't you give her the money instead of handing it over to me? You know what, Patrick? I need this money to come out of your pocket. That way, your wife will start according you the respect like you deserve. You know, it's high time you start taking your place as a man in your house. Please, don't tell me that nonsense. I don't want to listen to it. I don't. I've endured for you, Mary. And I've respected our friendship even to the detriment of my business. Mary, enough is enough. I need my money. I need my money, Mary. I need my money. Ah, Agnes, mm. please now. Why not wait till the end of this week? I'll pay you the money, please. I I've, I've tried my best to raise this money. And somebody even promised to give me money this week. Ah, she lies. I don't want to listen to it again. I don't! You are not stepping an inch from this place until you give me back my money. You are giving my money today. I'm just you're disgracing me. You see how people are looking at me. Oh, I don't care. Hey. Mm? And I will give you more than disgrace today. 12,000 naira is not a joke. I, can you hear me? Yes. It is not a joke. Hello, what, what, what is going on here? Uh, what's this one? 
Did you hear your name? Did anybody call your name? Mr. Man, face your phone. Can, can, can I calm okay. down? Go away, please. please. Who called you here? You better tell him you owe me money. Eh? This man might just be your savior. Are you hearing me? Hey. How much does she owe you? Oh, guys, 12,000 naira. 12,000? Mm. One, two. You know what? You just, just keep everything, okay? Oga. Oh, oh, hope we're good now. Yes. You just paid for me. Hey, God bless. Yes. You go bless. But it, it's nothing. Oga, thank you. I borrowed it from a friend. Hey, that is exactly what you should be doing as the man of the house. I can't forget how you virtually provided everything we needed in this house. Up you, that's my husband. <laughs> Use it and pay Anna's school fees. Yes, now you're talking. Thank you very much, Dad. You remain the best. Thank you, baby. Hmm? Just make me proud in your academics, yeah? Hmm? Make me very, very proud. Hmm? Promise? Don't worry, Dad. I won't fail you. Pinky promise. 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 What are you staring at? I'm staring at the truth. What truth? <laughs> Come on, Dad. I know it's Aunt Benita that gave you that money because she said none of your friends could. No, I, I still asked one of them and he gave me the money. Dad, please. All right. The truth is, Aunt Benita gave me the money. You're right. She's been very helpful these days, you know. Of course. Very helpful when mom is not around. Or. Should I tell mom about it so she can think of? No, no, no. Don't tell mom about it. It's our secret. Hmm? It's between us. She mustn't know. Really? Yes, just us. I just, I just need you to make me proud in your academics, yeah? Because I can't, I can't go through this, you know, this ills to, you know, have you disappoint me. Okay, Dad. Hmm? I won't disappoint you. Ah. <laughs> good day, Mr. Landlord. Uh -huh. Good day, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, my fish of Uh, What of your dad? He's quiet. I don't understand. I mean, he's sleeping. Go and wake him up. Tell him the landlord is here. Go and wake him up. Yes. Please. Is it wise for someone to wake a person in the middle of sleep? I think it has got brain damage before. Alright. Uh, uh, what of your mother? She went to buy drugs for my father. Meaning he is sick? Yes, that's why I don't want to wake him up. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I will go, but I will come back. Tell your father I was here. I believe he knows why. Why did you say I should take malaria drugs? Because I lied in your name. Why would you lie in my name? The landlord was here for his rent and I told him you were asleep because you're sick and my mom went to buy drugs for you. Oh. Why would you say that, Anna? Dad, I know we don't have money for house rent, and I don't want you to stress yourself explaining things to him, and I don't want him shouting at you. Yeah, but, but why would you tell me to take malaria drugs when I'm not sick? 
Dad, there's a saying that if you lie with sickness, that means you owe me the sickness. Dad, I don't want you to get sick. Please, take the drugs. <laughs> All right, baby. Listen. Hmm? Um, you tried, but trying is not good enough. You don't have to lie. See things the way they are. Lying is a bad habit, and I don't want you to cultivate that. Yeah? I want you from today on to say it as it is. Don't be afraid of anything. I know you're trying to protect your daddy. You're trying to protect the situation. But don't worry. As for the line, right? God will provide for us. But don't lie. This is it. Thank wow. you for accepting to visit. Your house is so fine. <laughs> Thank you. Please, please sit. So, what do I offer you? Um, nothing. I have to get going now, please. Why? You, you just got here. You, you said you like the house. Please, we don't have food in the house. I need to get home and make something for my husband and child, please. Listen, hey. I'll get them fast food on our way out, okay? No, it's not okay, please. Let me go and cook food for them, please. Hey, there's no way I'm letting you leave just like that without making sweet memories. You'll be fine, all right? Please, please sit. Give me one minute. I'll be right back. who took my advice. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how was your experience? Well, he has a very nice house and good cars. Mm. Mm. You know, that's the kind of man any woman needs in her life. The kind that will take very good care of you. Spoil it. Mm. Exactly, my sister. But, you know, I'm not yet comfortable with him because I'm married to him. Everyone knows you're married, Mary. The only thing you have to do is to enjoy it while it lasts. I mean, who doesn't want good things? Are you trying to say I should go to his house again? Did I not tell him to be patient with us? Did I not? Well... Well, if you look at it on the other side, you see that the man has been patient, honestly. He's been patient with us, darling. You know, he's a, he's a nice man. If you, you see, let's not just take his gentility or kindness for, for cowardice. What uh, nonsense are you talking about? Why did you not give him the house rent when he came here to collect it, since you're soliciting for him? Mom, take it easy on Dad. Hey! Allow me to talk. You always condemn my mess, but you cannot boast of one naira. Be very careful with me, this man. Be very, very careful around you. I've told you. So it has gotten to that point, right? That you're shouting at me in front of my daughter. Mary, what, what led you into this? You're raising your voice at me in front of my own child. What are you teaching her? What is all this? Must we shout over everything? That is it now. You always want to make me feel guilty. Yeah? Cynthia, take care of the shelter, right? Oh, Hello. Hi. You're welcome. She also brought you nothing to me. Hey, hey, what's hey. up? Hey. How are you doing? Look who we have here. Come it's here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. You look amazing. How are you? So, so. I'm fine. So, where have you been? I've been busy. Really busy. Hmm. And look, my friend told me. Oh, she did? Yes. You know, as a matter of fact, I came to talk about her. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you have a minute. Okay. 
I was actually on my way out for business. But that can wait. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, yeah? I'm sad. Just say thank you. It's a prayer for you. Just say thank you. It's a prayer for you. Where are you going to? I'll take that as a joke, even though it's not funny. Hey, madam, take care of your father. I don't want to catch you playing by the time I'll get back. Did you hear me? Did you hear what I'm saying? Yes, mom. Better. Dad, just to be no for me. For now, be thinking how you're gonna get healed. Yes, my daughter. I'm really grateful to God that you're not like your mother. Please don't learn her ways. She's blind, she doesn't know what she's doing. What, well, Dad? She's an adult. I think she knows what she's doing. She won't understand. She won't understand. Auntie Benita is nice. Why can't she learn from her? They're friends. Just, just go and play. Hmm? But make sure you don't soil yourself so your mom won't come screaming at you again. Yeah? Okay, don't take care of yourself. I love you. I love you too. Interview. My dear, I didn't get a call back. Anna, wow. And you did well in that interview according to the HR. I've heard him say that. I was expecting to see you back, but they brought one young lady that doesn't know anything. My dear, I was lucky to be selected. I'm happy to see you, my sister. But I know the reason why I was preaching. The HR asked me whether I was married and I said yes, the man. Hi. Oh my god. You shouldn't have. You should have told him you're single and look for a way to cover up your tracks. My dear, there is no job for a married woman in this part of the world. My sister, is well. At least I've known the reason why I was not selected for the job and it has really helped me move on with my life. But I pray that one day, God will help me get home. Amen. Amen. I pray so. It was nice seeing you. Nice seeing you too, my <laughs> Okay, um... Off to somewhere now, so take care of yourself. So we'll talk. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. <sighs> Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. You know what? I brought you some nice delicacy in here. I have rice and ofa, specially made by me. You want to try some? Very delicious. Why do you always come around whenever my wife is out? <sighs> That's because it's you I come to see, not Mary. I don't have any business with your wife. Me? Yes. I don't understand. <laughs> So you want me to spill it out? Patrick. I still love you. I've always loved you. Stop touching me. Take your hand away from my body. Take your food away from my table. And leave my house this minute. Just do that. Patrick. Leave my house this Patrick! Minute. What else do you want me to do for you to get to understand that I'm in love with you still? Baby, I, I love you. I'm into you. Baby. 
doesn't it strike you that I am married? And doesn't it strike you that my wife is your best friend? Oh, please, cut the crap. Does maybe care about you? I ask you again. Does she care about you? Patrick, look at me. I've always loved you. I mean, if you give me a chance, I'm gonna make you happy. Make me. Leave my house this minute. Just out of my house right it's now. It's okay. Please. You know what? Just have the meal because I know you're hungry and you need that food. Come out of here. This woman, you like switching off your phone. Huh? Mm. My dear. There's this person that has been disturbing my phone since today, mm. calling me for friendship. And I'm not interested, so I just had to switch off my phone. Friendship. Yes. Be cool, they should be talking about marriage because I want my best friend to get married this year. Mm. I am ready to be the chief bridesmaid. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> married indeed. Now take a very good look at me. I am so not interested in getting married right now. I cannot deal. I don't blame you if you say you're not ready to get married. Because this marriage thing to me is becoming more like a cause. Hey, look at me and Patrick now. See the kind of life we're living. Huh? You know what? Everything will be fine. Pretty soon of that. You know, I don't blame you for getting yourself entangled with another man. Because ladies like us, are meant to be pampered, spoiled. I mean, treat us like eggs. <laughs> but not to worry, darling. You're my prayers. Amen. Please pray very well for me. So I can just overcome Patrick. I need to leave that man. I need to I just want that man to live my life. I'm serious. Oh. Before you know it. Mm? 
I won't be sleeping alone for so long. You know, this night is so cold. I may have to come to Abuja to see you. You don't have to come to Abuja to see me. I'll be back in a fortnight. How difficult is that, oh, baby? Oh, that's so long. Those business trips is really distancing you from us. And you need to know that this is what we survive on. This is what keeps us. This is for the betterment of the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I'll come before you know it. Okay. Anna, do daddy a favor. Take care of mommy. Mm -hmm. Take care of my wife for me. Mm -hmm. When you do that, there's a price for you. Okay, dad. As long as you keep to your promise of buying me a Barbie. A Barbie? Simple is cheap. It's easy peasy Japanesey. Don't worry. Just take care of my wife and you get your baby. I'll just swipe my card and get it for you. Hmm? Guys, we've gotta go. Alright, honey. Uh, just, just put it in there. And I can't call the mechanic. Can I just use your car? Sure. Then, uh... Let me get the key. Yes, please. Take care, mommy. Thank you. Honey, the car was badly damaged. That no one could ever believe that you could come out alive. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. <sighs> Just tell me. Just tell me. No. What did he say? I can tell you some other time, honey. Not now, please. Please. Just tell me. Please. What did he say? The doctor said. The doctor said you had a spinal cord injury <laughs> that could affect your ability to walk. He said he's not sure you're going to walk again. He's on it. Stop crying, you're shattering my heart. Please. Stop crying. Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Why, why would you allow something like this to happen to me? Who have I offended? Who have I offended? Who's gonna take care of you? Who's gonna take care of honor? Just... Let me stop. Just stop crying. Stop thinking about tomorrow that hasn't come. We're going to pull through this together. We're going to survive it. Stop crying, please. Oh, are you going to get a job? When is the job going to come? I'm sure you've not even eaten. You just pretend that. Just take me to the village. No, go for me. I can never take you to the village. What do you want people to no. say? That I cannot take care of my own husband. Why am I your wife if I cannot take care of you? Please, please to the we're going to pull through this together. Okay, we're going to pull through this together. Nothing is going to happen. You'll be fine. Stop crying, please. 
<laughs> you have to be strong. Just stop crying. Stop crying. Let me take you inside so I can prepare something delicious for you. So please, please. And seem so long And what will it take to make it breathe? Oh. On my knee, I come to you Stop this pain. Take me, Lord, and take me home. Oh, oh, oh. I come to you and I'm on my knees. Help me, Lord, and take. I'm on my knees, I come to you. Oh, oh, oh. Help me, Lord, I take this pain away. Help me, Lord. Oh, yeah? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. 
So, cheers to us. Yeah. <laughs> cheers to a long-lasting relationship. Okay. Cheers to a happy married life. <laughs> <laughs> Prosperity. Oh yeah. And every other thing. Good. Yeah. <laughs> It's really good. Yeah. Wow. You look good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is Mary. What? What is it? My house. What, what happened? Patrick, so it has gotten to the point of not just trying to take your life, but trying to burn someone else's house, isn't it? So this, your madness has degenerated to this extent, right? I'm sick and tired of you disrespecting me, Mary. I'm sick and tired of your, your, your abuses. I'm sick and tired of you calling me names. Just because I'm on this wheelchair, you've branded me useless. Don't I have a life? Don't you think that blood flows in my veins? Huh? You've cursed me. You've abused me. You, you've just rendered me useless. See, I'm tired. I just wanted to take my life so that you can be free. You can be free, Mary. And fly like a bird. You know what? You are insane, Patrick! Why did you not die in your dream last night? Why do you have to endanger my life with our only child's life? Just because you want to die. Do you know the problem you would have caused if you had burnt down this house? Do you know that Anna almost died of suffocation? If she had continued to inhale the smoke coming out from the fire? Patrick, do you know how much I spent in buying the bed that you almost destroyed? Do you know? I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry for, for endangering our, our, our daughter's life. Because I was frustrated. Come on, come on, Mary. This is not this 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 is not this is not it at all. Is it because I'm sitting on this chair? That's it. Is that the end of the world? Do you not even have one iota of light of seeing that one day I might be off, off, off this chair? Why? What have I done to you that, that much that you hated me so much? I was frustrated. It wasn't intentional. Mr. Frustration, you know what? I am sick and tired of this trade called marriage. I am leaving with my daughter this minute before you kill her for me. Mom, I don't want to go. Shut up! If I slap you with this anger in me, eh, you will remember God. Come on, come on, let's go and pack a few of our things up. Come back out. Come back. Come back. Money. 
very wrong. You cannot abandon your husband just like that. Hmm? He already abandoned himself. And I've already made up my mind. <laughs> really? Yes. I repeat, this is very wrong. Hmm? What do you want people to say about you? Did you say people? They can go ahead and say whatever they want to say. At this point of my life, Benita, I don't care anymore. No, no, no. You're getting it all wrong. Yes. And it's in my place as your friend to tell you when you're wrong. I mean, why would you do such a thing? In fact, as I'm talking to you, you're going to pick your things and we're going to your husband's house because I'm going to settle this right now. Benita, what are you even saying? Are you trying to say that it was right for my husband to have tried to kill himself by burning up our house? No, I never said any of that. Then what? What I'm trying to say is that you leaving him now We'll give rest to him during that again. Let him go ahead and do it. Let him do it! Mary, we're going to your husband's house now. Benita, I am not going back to that house. I've left that house for good. It's I'm not going back. Fine, fine, fine. Just sit down. Let me go. Okay. Madam, you can sit down if you want. If you don't want, stand up. More pull. That's, that's, that's. Mademoiselle, you can sit down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Patrick, why are you on the floor? <laughs> She's made her decision, she's gone. But forcing my daughter to do the same is what I will never tolerate after a war. My lawyer will fight for it. I will fight for it, not my choice. Patrick, please. You really have to take things easy this time. I mean, look at you. The more you get like this, the more you endanger your life. Please, I beg you. Try and calm down. I've never been humiliated like this. I've never been humiliated this way before. Patrick, you know this is why I have always been on your case. But as always, you never want to look my way. If I get into your life, Patrick, I will make things easier for you. You're going to be a happy man and forget about gonna, that wife of yours. It's going to be difficult for me. Please, Benita, I understand. I can't love again, please. Mm. Look at my conditions. I just, want, I just want my family back. Just look at my conditions. Look at, look at how it is, please. I'm sorry. I am really glad you and your daughter are fine. So where is she? She's with Benita, my friend, at her salon. Mm. You know I'm always here. In case you need a shoulder to lean on. 
but you do not have a future with that man you call husband. Yes, I want to leave him. I've decided to leave him. For real? Yes. <laughs> That's really good. So when are you moving in with me? Um, my challenge now is my daughter. You know, my daughter is very close to the father. And it will be very difficult to separate both of them. Babe? Yes. Allow me to take care of this man once and for all. Alright? I'll make sure I leave no traces and I promise you I will make sure he doesn't suffer before he dies. No! I am not a murderer and I, I don't expect you to become one because of me. Allow me to do this thing for me. Just allow me, just give me some time to sort it out, please. So, there you go. Try this. I'm not interested. This is meat pie. Mm. Are you sure you don't want Mmm. Right. I have apples. Do you want me to serve it? I don't want that either. <sighs> Annabelle. my father. I want to go back to him. But you saw what he did. He was frustrated. I asked you to advise my mom for me. But you didn't listen. She's the one making him angry. And I need to go back to my father and see how he's feeling. Please. Mary. Yes. Like I said earlier, you have to learn not to quarrel with your husband anymore. Are you even listening to me? I'm listening. Better. Please. All he needs now is your support. And for you to stand by him, I mean, he's not happy he's in this condition. As a woman of the house, it is in your place to take care of your husband and make him feel like he's still alive. I hope I'm understood. Yes, I heard what you said. Better. And to you, Patrick. You disappoint me. I mean, how could you? You behaved like a child. Trying to burn down the house. Are you serious? Do you realize you're supposed to be the man of the house? I beg of you, please, take your place in your house. She's only but a woman, and her excesses are supposed to be tolerated by you. Please, I beg you. This whole drama will soon be over. God will heal you pretty soon at that. Amen. I hope I'm understood. Yes, thank you. Many times. Annabelle, please um, do well to take care of mommy and daddy, especially your mommy. I have to be on my way, okay? Okay, darling, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Auntie. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, welcome. I would like you to disassociate yourself from Benita. What did you just say? End your friendship with Benita. Hmm. Why will I do that? Can you just for once obey me as the head of this family? Can you just for once provide for us as the head of this family? Patrick, why would you tell me to end my friendship with my best friend? The only best friend I have in this world, Patrick. Oh. Patrick, why are you such a bitter soul? Why? I yearn for the day. 
you would obey me as your husband deserves. And I yearn for the day you will stop annoying me in this house, Patrick. In that case, I'll have my lawyers prepare the divorce papers so you can serve them to your husband. Okay, but you have to promise me that you will take care of my daughter, Anna, even if she refused to follow me to your house. Come on, of course you know that's not a problem. I'll take care of her, I'll take care of her education, I'll take care of everything that concerns her. I just hope he agrees to sign the divorce papers when he receives it. Well, he doesn't have a choice, except you don't want to leave him. Come on. I've made up my mind already and I mean it. Hmm? Come on. Aren't you just too cute? <laughs> Thank you, baby. How do you have now? Bring your own now. Anana. Dad, I'm dead! What happened to you? You broke the plate. I told you to be more careful when you are doing this thing. Eh? Mom is going to beat me when she's back. I'm going to let her beat you, but next time you should be very careful when you're serving food. Please, Anna. I didn't know when it fell from my hand. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. So you just join me. Let's let me eat a few lumps and then I'll let it. I'll let you finish the rest. Hmm? Join me. Okay, What's this soup is not going to be okay. Should I go and serve more? No, 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 no. Don't go and serve more. Don't go and serve more. You know your mother. If she comes here and realizes that we've misused the soup, she will begin to, 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 to fight us. And she will quarrel and begin to make so much noise that even the neighbors will be wondering what is happening. Please just join me. Wash your hands. But the uh, broken place, how are we going to take care of it? I'll take responsibility for that. Wash your Thank you, Dad. I love you too. I love you. Thank you too. Wash your hands. Let me feed you. Hmm? There's this. I even kept this. First of all, just finish this with five things. Mm -hmm. Careful, you don't touch yourself. Do you hear me? Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, baby. Baby. Baby, you're welcome. How was your day, baby? Yes, I poured it off. I didn't know. I didn't do it intentionally. I went. I was hungry. I went to the pot to fetch uh, soup. The, the cover was not really strong. So when it, when I uh, turned and it, it just poured away. <laughs> Patrick, so you've become so handicapped that you cannot hold something properly, right? I said the break of my Oh, The thing is this. There will be no more food for you in this house until tomorrow. Yes. That is the way it's going to be. Mom, please forgive Shut up! That is protector. If you talk again, I'll, I'll, I'll just leave me alone. Leave me alone. What's that? Have it. Have what? Just have it. I don't understand. I bought it for you. You bought this for me? Where'd you get money from? The last time Auntie Benita came, she dashed me money, but I didn't give it to mom. I kept it all to myself. Oh. No, 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 no. You don't do that. Don't do that. That is very wrong. 
anytime on Benita Dash Human or any other person, show it to me or your mother. It's a wrong thing to do with your child. All the money is bad. Do you understand? I'm, and with that, I'm not happy with you. I'm sorry, Dad. Do you still have some money with you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How much is it? 200 naira. How much is it? 200 naira. All right. Go and bring it immediately. Girlfriend. Yes. I think you should spend the weekend in his house. What? A whole weekend? Mm mm. Hmm. We did. Mm. You know, you asked for my suggestion and I just gave it to you. Yes. Is that why I will go and spend the whole weekend in the house of a man who is not married to me yet? So, Hart, you yourself told me he gave you 30,000 naira. So, tell me, when last did you own 30,000 naira of your own? You know, I think it's high time you paid that young man. I mean, he's helping you get a divorce with your husband, so you just have to be nice. Um, my husband, I mean Anna. You just tell them you're going on a business trip or something. Just cook up anything. I mean, what's the big deal? Ben, do you know that your one friend, everybody should wish for? Thank you so much for your kindness. I really appreciate it. And I owe you one. Anytime. Do you know that my husband was advising me to end our relationship? Hmm? I'm telling you. What's his reason? Don't mind that man. He's an enemy of progress. He likes poverty. EP, <laughs> let him go and die there. Me, uh, I will enjoy my life to the fullest. the nerves to tell Mary to end our friendship simply because you want to get rid of me. <laughs> News flash. She's divorcing you in a few days time. So deal with it. Nonsense. Manita, has it gotten to the point where you barge into my house without a knock? Patrick, when in heaven's name are you going to grow up and take a very good notice at the woman right in front of you. I mean, don't I deserve a chance at all, see? Well. Until you stop walking into people's houses with unfunded dead allegations against them, I'm never gonna bite an eyelid. Really? <laughs> you know, for years, I've been trying to get you to notice me. But all my effort has been brought to naught. So here's to being the latest single man after being married for over 10 years. Fool. What are you going to tell me? Tell you about what? You know what I'm talking about. Look here, mister. I don't have strength to start cracking my brain about those useless riddles of yours. I have important things to think about. When are you going to tell me about the divorce? How did you know about it? Does it matter? 
I'm disappointed at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. I see you bring in new shoes, new clothes, new bags. You do things differently. I knew it all. I know there's a benefactor somewhere. And at least you should have respected the love we once had by telling me earlier before the document comes out. <laughs> I'm ashamed at you. You're a disgrace. I need you to do me just one favor. Allow Anna to make her choice. Who to follow? She's innocent. She's not part of this quagmire. She's a happy child. She deserves to be happy. Two million now. Take it and leave it. Excuse me? Two million what? Two million naira. Hell no! Oh, I can't take this money. I need more money, man. That is what I can afford for now. I take it and go. I said no! Give me more money! What is two million naira? Stanley, you are beginning to piss me off. You're getting on my nerves. Take that money and leave here. See you're playing hanky panky mumbo jumbo games with me, aren't you? house after lying to my husband and Anna that was going to a crusade only for me to get to his house and he's not at home <coughs> did you try calling his number yes and his number was switched off Clean, simple, and straight to the point. That's right? the code. Ancient was 
ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with an open heart. Oh, let the ancient world impact. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you've done in our lives. We thank you for the life of my daughter, Anna. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know you're going to protect and guide her in Jesus' name. In her academics, she will rise higher than every other person in her school in Jesus' name. She will do us well and do us proud, and all the glory shall be given unto you. Father Lord, we also commit mommy into your hands. Father Lord, that wherever she is right now, protect and guide her and see her true. Mm. Father Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for daddy. You say, wherever and wherever we find ourselves, Father Lord, we should always thank you. Father Lord, we know that daddy's condition will not be permanent in Jesus' name. Your mighty hands shall heal daddy in Jesus' name. And daddy will be back and strong again. Stronger than before again in Jesus' name. You take care of Anna and mommy and every other person for good in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We commit this prayer for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Dad, are you sure mom went for a crusade? Yes, that's where she went to. And you believed her? Of course. What else would I believe? Dad, I think that's not the way to dress for a crusade. And why the weekend? Anna, you think a lot. You think a lot in this little head of yours. I hope you think about your academics the same way. Yes, Dad. That's all. We need to be security conscious and always know where Mom goes. So we'll be sure she's all right. All right, darling, that's it, huh? Mom will be fine. Hmm? Wherever she is, God will protect her. We've just prayed for her, isn't it? So it's time for you to go to bed now. Come here. Good night, Dad. Love you, good night. I am really sorry about last night. But I've lost all my goods if I hadn't dashed out the way I did. I hope you understand. Yeah, I understand. It's fine. You've already expensed on me. I'm, I'm glad nothing happened to your business. Thank you. You've not told me what you do for a living. Criminal. I'm a gun runner. <laughs> Like say you get mine to run go. <laughs> what makes you think I don't? Mm. Well, I deal in electrical appliances and my shop is at Alaba International Market. Wow. So you mean you're a real businessman? Yes, madam. Mm. <laughs> I'm a real businessman. <laughs> uh, you good. know, one of the qualities of a businessman they say is patience, and I'm sure you can testify to that considering how patient I was with you. <laughs> mm. That's good. You know. I'm really glad you came. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I only wish you came along with Anna. Oh, um, that will come after the divorce. What's up with the divorce papers? I don't want that excuse anymore. I don't want it. I'm tired of it. Can you hear me? I'm tired of it. I'm outside here and I'm not living here without my rent. I've been very patient with you for a very long time till now because of your medical condition. but. I have a wife and children to take care of. I need my money. 
I need my money. Uh -uh. This is this is too much. Okay, landlord. This one you're outside here shouting. What is the problem? Is it me you are talking to? Uh -huh. I want my money. And I don't want stories. Put your hand in your bag and give me my money. That is all. Shut up! Is that why you're busy disturbing the peace of the neighborhood? Which house are you even talking about? Is it this one that the roof is leaking that you're talking about? Eh, yeah. me, I have a house. Your husband has no house. Does he have any? Does your husband have any house? Woman, give me my rent. I am not here to bandy words with you or anybody. And don't waste my time, Biko. Don't waste my time. I beg, go. Come back tomorrow and take your money. You this poor man. You just be here making noise anyhow. Take your two left legs and go away from this. Look place. at you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. It is me that gave house to people like you. Chronic debtors. Go away with your two left legs. Go and sit down. Poor, 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 poor grass. Death if not off. me, will you eat? If not me and my husband, are you going to see food to eat? Hello, Isaac. Where are you? Here is um, the divorce document. Just go through it and sign on it. you have to say just okay okay what do you expect me to say Benita there is no way Patrick will receive such a document without saying anything or contesting it. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, Patrick just received this document without saying anything. He did not contest it. He just collected it and that was it. You know, that explains it. He doesn't want to fight it. <laughs> no, Benita. I think something is fishy. Patrick has a plan. Yeah. It's simple. If he doesn't want to sign, you just go ahead and sue him. I mean, there's no reason for you to be bothering yourself about nothing. Dad, you shouldn't sign it. And why not? Someone is about to take mom away from us permanently. Would you allow that? Your mom has made up her mind. It's not my fault, it's not anyone's fault. She's decided to do this. She doesn't care about us. Oh no, Dad. You still have to do something about this. Anna, your mom is an adult. She's made up her mind. So I want to just sign it and let her go. I'm sorry about that. Dad, I want to stay with you. I don't want to go with Mom. I knew it. And I want to stay with you also forever. But you see that that is handicap. I barely can take care of myself, let alone with you. I don't know how we're going to manage. I'll manage with you, Dad. Now take a very close look at this guy. So, what do you want me to do to him? I want him dead. And you have one week 
to carry out this assignment. Consider it done. Just get the job done. You're back. You know what? Just go and get all your things. Let me pack them inside here. We're leaving this house today. Mom, what are you doing? You're asking me what I'm doing. Go and get your things. Let us leave this place. Why? Dad, did you sign it? Yes, I'm sorry I did. But it was necessary. I begged you. I pleaded with you. But you didn't listen to me. I'm sorry, darling. Is that right? If I don't, she might sue me. Mom, I'm not going anywhere with you. <laughs> Annabelle, were you expecting me to beg you or to drag you out of this house? Ban on Annabelle. Uh -uh, I'm not going to do any of this. By the time hunger strikes you, oh, you will run towards where I'm going to. Annabelle. Annabelle. Hmm. I'm going to write the address for you, eh? I'll write it down so that when you're ready, you'll come. Mom, please don't leave me, please don't leave me, don't let me to die, Mom, please. I'm begging you, please don't leave me, Mom, please. <laughs> Mom, don't leave me. <laughs> Mom, please. Look at you. Look at your fine self. Mm. I'm so excited to see you. Okay, so we got a spot look wine to celebrate. And are you okay? Oh come on. Oh look at your face. What is it? What happened? Talk to me. I can't stop getting worried over my daughter. She can't take care of herself. Yet she refused to follow me down here. She'll be fine. How? How am I even sure if she has eaten anything today? That girl is just as stubborn as her ba father. Ba ba you really need to stop worrying about her. You said you dropped her address with her, so if she wants anything, she knows how to reach us and I'll always support. Alright, in the meantime, let's just let's just celebrate, alright? Come here. Thank you so very much for coming into my life. Thank you for loving me. Eat. You make this? How do you know how to cook? I used to watch mom when she's cooking, so I put it to practice and I got it right. Oh, I'm sorry I slept up. I would have prepared you something proper to eat. Don't worry, Dad. It's delicious. Try it. How would you know if it's delicious? And I've not tasted it. Let me taste it. Let's see.
Mm. Mm. This is the tastiest noodles I've ever had in this world. Oh, oh, my daughter is grown. Come here. Mwah. This is so, this is so tasty. My love, how are you today? You know, Mary told me she has left you. She sent you here to check how I'm doing. Tell her I'm asking even stronger. You know, Patrick, you never cease to amuse me. I mean, you don't even know your friends. Mary told me everything. I scolded her and advised her to come back, but she bluntly refused. And since then, I barely slept. I've been thinking about you and Anne, and that's why I'm here. We're fine. Anna has gone to school already. Oh, okay. Uh, I hope she had something to eat before leaving. You know, I, I still cannot believe that Mary can abandon her child, her only child, to be precise. Benita. Yes? Thank you for everything already. I'm most grateful. Mm? <laughs> did I just hear you well? I mean, did you just say thank you? Oh, that was a sleep of song. I'll be the greatest fool on the surface of this earth not to oh. recognize and adhere to what you've been doing. Hmm. I've really been thankful. It's just that I was afraid and I didn't want to succumb because I was avoiding trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know I don't give trouble. All I know how to give is love and care. Patrick, if you let me, I will spoil you. And now that you're suddenly speaking my language, I think it's high time I started taking care of you. So, um, you bad, Tsubushi? How about I take you to the salon? And let's get a cup. What do you say? Even a greeting, it's me, mom. It's your mother. How are you? Meet Martins, my husband to be. Hmm? This is Annabelle, my daughter. So, you're the one who took my mom away from me. Um, I, I don't understand. What do you mean, took your mom away from you? You stole her away from me and my dad. Stop it, Annabelle. Stop it this minute. That's not how to talk to someone you don't know. Well, I have to go home. Dad is waiting for me right now. Come back here. Give me a look. Wow. Dad. Do you mean it's Aunt Benita that cooked this food before she left? Mm -hmm. she, she did this. 
I hope you're enjoying it. Yes, but I thought you said you're not interested in being friends with her because she's mom's friend. Uh huh. She just came to check up on us, that's all. And uh, you know how we are faring. That's all, and there's nothing wrong with that in particular. Wow. Dad, she even shaved your beard. And Ben thanks to kind. Annabelle, eat your food, it will get cold. Stop talking. You don't talk when you are eating. I'm very, very sorry about the way she spoke to you. Most times, she's always talking out of point. Listen, Please, I'm sorry. Listen, I am only tolerating her because she's your daughter. But she cannot stay here. I mean, that girl doesn't even like me. She doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Oh, but she's only a child. Huh? Who is a child? That's a very smart kid. Don't even for a second think that girl is naive because she is not. Listen, I can make arrangements for her to be enrolled into the boarding school, alright? But she is not staying here. She's been observing everything that has been happening. She cannot stay here. Do you have a problem with that? Do you have a problem with that? No. Good. I'll be in the bedroom. Keep moving. Don't stop. Shh. Martins, I insist that you go get the little girl. She needs to be with her mother. Needless to say that you cannot allow a little girl to suffer. I don't know how else to say this, but there is no way I would live under the same roof with that girl. She's too insulted. Have you heard that girl speak? Come off it, Martins. Don't be silly. 
That's a child you're talking about. Oh, that's my problem. Everybody keeps calling her a child. And is she an adult? Now listen, her father is handicapped and as such cannot take care of her. So you better go take the little girl and let her move in with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's her mom's decision to make. I mean, I won't go asking her to come, come with me. How about the money you promised me? That. Well, I think I forgot my, my checkbook. Hmm? I forgot my checkbook. Oh, God. Maybe just keep quiet, please. What? Stand up. Go get the checkbook because I need the money right now. Like now, now. Yes, ma'am. Like right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, babe. I... Babe? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh. You didn't tell me you two know each other. I was thinking of those days when I used to have my limbs. Dad, I remember what the doctor said. And I've been thinking about your situation since then. I remember that fateful day. It all happened. I almost lost my life. But God said no. Sometimes I wish I died in that accident and live through all these years with, with the pain your mother cursed me. Dad, God allowed you to live for a reason. And he knows that one day you'll be able to afford money for the surgery. Then you can get your feet back. No, baby. The doctor suggested artificial limbs. And mechanical limbs are like no limbs at all. Dad, I think artificial legs are going to make it different. But how do we raise money? Hmm. How do we raise money when we barely even eat a proper meal? Who will jump from anywhere to come save us from this? Very difficult. I have an idea, Dad, but I don't know how this will sound to you. We need to raise money by all means. You have to feel alive again, Dad. You have an idea. What is that idea? Isaac. Isaac. He sent his warm regards before joining his ancestors. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You have just touched the tail of the tiger. Tell me something that I know. When the going is good, everybody wanna be your friend. When the going is sweet, everybody wanna be your brother. When the going gets tough, all of them will run away. When the going gets tough, all of them will disappear. 
I think we have to stop doing this. But why, Dad? We already made some money. It's risky. It's dangerous. There are cars everywhere. You could get knocked down. And it's not a good thing for me to expose you out there. You're still a kid. Dad, we need all the help we can get. I need you to walk again. I need you to feel alive again. I need you to be useful again. Dad, please do it for us. You can achieve it. People are already pitying us. Go check who's at the door. Hi, Mom. Hi, Anna. Hi everyone. How can we help you? I brought some sister. We don't stuff need any you of your things. Oh no, it's okay. Mary, what are you doing here? We don't need your assistance. We didn't tell you we're hungry. We're fine. We're good. Please let us be. Yes, and I know you're in need. That's why I brought this for both of you. Just kill the pride and collect it. Aunt Benita has been providing for us. So we don't need any of your things. Benita has been coming here. Yes, she has been kind and generous to me and father. Anna, Anna, can I take it up from you? You can't tell her everything. I'm sorry, Dad, but I had to. She's no longer a member of the family. Please, can you just leave us in peace? I beg of you. I've met you before. What are you doing here? Who are you? Excuse me, who are you? Can you all please just listen to this confession of mine? You have the address already. It's um, two cats that are in the house. It's precisely the Black Range Rover.
so I had to disconnect the brakes and she called me the next morning reporting that it was you who had the accident not your wife and I told her I worked on your wife's car not yours I was to go with that car that same day meaning I'm the one who is supposed to be in this condition right now <laughs> Anita, it's unbelievable. No, Benita, I'm going to look for Benita. I'm going to find that bitch. And Mister, why did you come to us with such confession? Quiet, quiet, Anna. was betrayed and it's payback time. Please, you just have to believe the fact that I'm not like this. I'm not a bad person. I'm a good person. The offer she made to me initially was so very catchy I couldn't reject it. And you know how hard the country is right now. I could barely feed, man. I love food. I love food, man. I'm sorry. You did this to me because of a bowl of food. You're evil. You're nefarious. May thunder locate and fire you. Amen. Days of the life. Get out of the Get out of the please calm down. God, please. Don't cry, God. Get out of the Please. Where is that bitch? Where is she? Oh, your hair. She dead. I see Stanley has gotten to you. Cynthia, excuse me. Mary kisses. So it's true. Please sit down. Mary, need I remind you that Patrick was mine and you stole him from me? You told me you had no business with him after you met him at the clubhouse. And I asked you about my relationship with him, and you approved of it and told us to move on. He pleaded with you to marry him severally, but you refused, and he moved on with me. I was angry as at the time, and that explained it all. But before I knew what was happening, you got married to him. And ever since, I have been plotting on how to get you out of here. In fact, I plotted something for you and Patrick fell into my trap. And guess what? My hatred for you grew. All I've been waiting for is how to get you out of the house and take my rightful place. Benita, you would have told me that you were still interested in him. And I would have respected our relationship and left him for you. That is the much I care about you, Benita. But instead, you turn into a benefactor all in the beat to get my man, Benita. What a shame, Benita. Shame on you! You failed woefully, and I'll make sure I report you to the police. Try and deal with him. You dare me, Benita! Dad, hmm? we should report that man to the police. I don't think the police can find him. I don't think so. Say we should report on Benita to the police. I regret collecting all I've collected from her. I can't believe she put you in this condition. Hmm. My dear daughter, I can't believe so too. You see what desperation can lead one into. I'm still shocked after hearing it. I never believed she could do this to me. Well, I 
still trust God that He's going to heal you from this situation. But we can't continue like this forever. We need means of healing, and the only person that can feed us is evil. My daughter, I'm trusting in God too. I know you don't allow our enemies to laugh at us. Oh. Hope you're not messaging those girls. Hmm? Mm -hmm. What girls? Oh, oh, no, you're going to make me lose the game. I'm enjoying it. Come here. Oh, wow. Oh, don't <laughs> do that. Come on. You know what? Just, <coughs> just keep playing while I get some water. Okay. Really? okay. Now we could go play papa 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 go with your abi. Oh. Eh? So you still get mad. With everything we carry, you just you, you still get mad if they look us why they lie. I'm sorry, please. I swear to God, Matthew is in this house. He's in this house. Please, please don't kill me. Please. 
this. No, you don't understand. Why they act like this now? You won't try to tell me say you don't know them the man where they screw you, where they bang you. You won't try to tell me say you don't know what they do. You won't tell me say you don't know say you're an arm robber. Arm robber? Oh, oh boy, I don't know. Please don't kill me. Please let me no sense. Oh, oh, gee, oh, gee, you know. I forget to ask you the ask question. No, they might not be that. Yeah, they ask question. No, they might not be that. Please let me kill you. Please Shh. Kill Shut up. You don't hear me. You understand? You don't cross line, you don't match line. So at the end of the day, we think you go, you go collect her, you don't get. G, you show our car, you understand? For sure, for sure. Make sure not red car. Red car. <laughs> I forget, I have this message for my. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go on the bed, go on the bed. Come on, the bed. get on the bed, jump for me, see I can carry you. Go! <laughs> Patrick, you can walk. What do you want? Benita, we had everything. And there's no need you apologize because you closed chapter. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to apologize. I know what I did is unpardonable. I'm here for Mary. What about Mary? Something really bad has happened to her. Baby, you awake? Mom, as soon as we heard the news, we came here immediately. Mm. Oh my God, you look pretty bad. So you can walk? Yes, God has answered my prayers. Our prayers. Martin steals and guns. Yes, um, Benita told us everything and uh, he and his friends are behind bars right now, so it's, he's no longer a threat. Mom, the doctor said that you can never use that eye to see again. Listen, you don't have to cry because the doctors say a single tear can damage the affected eye. It's fine. We understand, but I'm well, I'm back in business, and soon I'll make enough money, and we'll send you abroad for a proper surgery. Is that okay? I don't know what you two are doing here. I am the last person you should be talking to. I've done so much evil to both of you. I am not worthy. To be called a mother and a, a wife. You've really done so much evil. But there's no need to count evil. I have forgiven you. Me too, Mom. I've forgiven you. I'm happy we all are together. One day God is going to heal you and we'll be happy. Amen, my daughter. Amen. I miss both of you so much. It's fine, it's fine. Let me go check up on the doctor. I'll be right back. Okay, mommy. Don't come here. I don't want me. Don't kill me,